Hi Divas, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we'll still on a crazy situation when it comes to my hair. So, I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> finally tone it. It's been a week since I did the second bleach. And as you can see, it's a little bit less golden and my ends are a little bit more white silver. That's because I tried to tone it with this product right here. This is a uh, Gem Light from Celeb Luxury. I have used this before, not this one. I actually did the silver color wash with a little bit of the purple. But um, this one is tend to be a little bit more like a toner rather than an actual wash, but it's supposed to use it to eliminate brassiness after you actually had white hair. So it kind of helps you in the long run. It passes a little bit of uh, silver sort of platinum white color little by little. I only did one wash, but as you can see, it kind of helped to take a little bit of the golden and make it a little bit more ashy but there's still a big difference from this part with my ends just because my ends are uh, over processed and they do drink up the product a lot faster and a little bit more than the rest of my hair so I have decided to pretty much finally again tone my hair but it does need a little bit more of lift at least for some areas so what I'm gonna do is 20 volume and hopefully that will lift a little bit of what I need for some of these yellow parts and deposit the color and I definitely want to be white and I cannot wait too long because you can see I already have it's only been a week and I already have my actual color coming out and if I wait too long it's gonna be even more crazy and I'm gonna have a banding because that 20 is most likely gonna light up a little bit that area and it's not gonna light it up enough because it's 20 volume so it's gonna get very complicated so I'm definitely gonna do it today and see what this goes and hopefully I finally get a little closer I feel like I only need a little bit more and a little bit more even and then I'll just do a lot of treatments because my hair is still a little bit dry even though I did wash it yesterday so that's probably why it's a little bit like fussy it's always been like that when I was dark hair, processed hair, natural hair, it always does that. So I'm used to it being dry as soon as I wash it and then being very oily at the end of the week. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and buy some products in good old Sally and I'll show you guys uh, the result. Stay tuned and let's see where this goes.
So this is what it looks after being dried and um, used with 20 volume. Again, this is what happened. I noticed that it was actually a blue base. So because it was a blue base in my yellow, it ended up looking kind of green. So this is the thing. I don't hate it, but I definitely don't love it. It's kind of like ashy blonde and the ends compared to the rest of the hair they actually look a little bit more even than the, how they were before and um, I do believe that the porosity products did help and also 
allow my hair to be a little more nourished during the process. Um, I also use some Playa shampoo and conditioning that I think that it did to the trick and this is also where my hair feels so soft. Uh, it did add shine the bro ion and that's why I feel like it feels so soft and with movement. I do feel like it did give some brightness to it and shine but it's definitely not the color one so I'm gonna do a bleach bath which I so much did not want to. I really did not want to have to do a bleach bath but I feel like that's the only way to take away this toner quick and I honestly I don't know it just it just feels too much kind of like ashy gray green undertones in between those looks kind of even but I feel like it's not it's not what I want at all and I don't even want it to have it for too long and I don't know stain my hair so I'm gonna do a bleach bath and do part of the same process. So I've done bleach baths before and I'll show you guys what I do. So let's see how this goes and wish me luck.
so here's the result. As you can see, it does not look green anymore. It does not look very bright, uh, golden tones. Um, it's look a little bit colder rather than warm tones. And over here, you can see a little bit of purple as well as my ends. And that's because my ends have been over processed way too many times. And the fronts, I guess, they're a little bit more porous than the rest of the hair. Also, they were whiter. Um, these parts over here, they were actually very yellow, as you can see. They look ashy and they have like a lilac sort of tone to it. Honestly, it looks a little bit more white on camera, but in person it looks a little bit more kind of like translucent lilac in between like an ashy blonde, whitish, translucent lilac. I don't know, it's complicated to explain, but it does look good. I'm actually glad that it turned out like this. Not necessarily what I wanted, but definitely better than what I did yesterday. As you notice, I did have to do a bleach wash because the Ion Bride snow cap that I used was not purple base, it was blue base. What happened with that is since my hair was still a little bit yellow, the blue with the yellow is gonna make green. So even though my hair was not green, it was still like an ashy blonde, it was more into like a dirty blonde sort of green streaks here and there, which I definitely did not like. I had already green hair once in my life by accident, and I really, really did not want my hair to get stained. So yesterday, I only had it for less than 24 hours, so I did the bleach wash, and now I tone it again with my last toner. I think what I was doing wrong with Robson Peluquero is that I was washing my hair with really warm, hot water, and maybe that was probably open again the cuticle of my hair and letting all the product go. And also, I was using shampoo and conditioner afterwards, hoping that my hair will be softer, but at the same time I was kind of washing off the toner and later on I did a little bit more research and I actually noticed that I probably shouldn't be doing those things and that's what I did this time. Also, I did it on dry hair, you're supposed to do it on wet hair, but I don't think it really matters because it's mostly like a, it's kind of like a mattifying mask to your hair. So I said to myself, listen, if I do it in dry hair, it's probably just gonna be a little bit stronger in the hair and maybe the hair will absorb a little bit more rather than already having water inside. So I did that and as you can see, I tried to massage as much as I could because technically the product uh, mattifies it once you massage it into the hair. But I think it did a pretty good job. Obviously it's not as even, but yesterday I did the bleach wash and the snow cap with 20 volume both times and I don't feel like it lifted a lot of the yellow that I had underneath, which makes no sense. Um, but it did lift the little grow that I had. If you can see there, it looks golden. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to let my hair rest. I did way too much. And I'm kind of upset that I had to do all that yesterday because maybe I could just have done this in the very beginning and not have to go through all the trouble I just went to. But my hair has gone through a lot already. And I really don't know how I still have hair in my head. So I'm just going to go ahead. Let it rest. Uh, the lilac is most likely gonna fade into a couple days and once I wash it, so I'm gonna enjoy the ride. I prefer to have it a little bit lilac, kind of white than having green, kind of blonde. So I'm gonna go ahead and let my hair rest, do a lot more treatments throughout the week. And as a review for I Am Bryce No Cap, I don't really have bad things to say necessarily. The product was really good. It was not drying. I did not feel like um, it was so strong that, you know, it was hurting my hair in any way. But the problem is that I did so much research and I still could not find the basis of each Ion Bright. So I went with this no cap thinking, hey, if it's the whole goal is to have ashy white hair, then most likely has to be blue and purple tones or most likely purple tones. But guess what? I did not see any purple. I saw it with blue in my hair and right away I kind of knew it was not going to be the one and that's exactly what happened. So yes, I did like it but it did not do what I needed to do. I was going to try the Lavender Moon which I saw really good things about it and being lavender has to have purple base but I did not want to put peroxide again in my hair. My hair already went through enough. So I'm going to do this and treatments and most likely, once my roots grow out, then once I have to do bleach again, then I'll just maybe touch up and do some spot on the uh, more yellow areas if they're still popping. And hopefully that will give me the result I want. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for continuing this journey with me. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye.